Hey guys, G here. Well, not back at Luna Geckos, actually in the car, because today we have something special. We have to head all the way over to Beaumont, Texas to the FedEx Ship Center in order to pick up a gecko. Actually, three geckos. And it was gonna be this big surprise, but as you could probably tell from the title, yeah, it's Eurodactylodes occidentalis. I have no idea if I said that right. So anyway, I'm in the car, getting ready to head out. I've got my sidekick with me, Miss Poppy Dog in her car seat, all ready to go. Gotta get driving. See you in a minute. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey, we made it to Beaumont. Here we are at FedEx, right behind me. What do you think, Pop? You excited? I'm gonna go in and get them. All right, we're back in the car. There they are. Safe and sound in the back seat. Pop, he's excited. Now we gotta go back to Lake Charles and get him home, Pop. You ready? Pop. I don't know. Canines. back in Lake Charles. Let's get into the gecko room and open these up. You ready, Pop? Woo! We made it. Now I can officially say, welcome back to Luna Geckos. There was a little bit of traffic on the way back, so it took longer than it normally does. But we're here, we're safe. Miss Poppy Dog got to have a little nap. And I'm really excited. You know, we don't often get new geckos in here at Luna Geckos. And when we do, it's usually something pretty exciting. Well, at least exciting for me. This is from BB Crested Geckos out of New York. And it is, well, you know, because you saw the title and I said it earlier. It's three Eurodactylodes occidentalis. And let's not wait anymore. Let's open the box and see what's in here. Still warm, always a good sign. Sticker, card. Oh, a gecko. That's a little male. Another little male. It'll make sense in a minute. And finally, a female. So you might ask, nothing else. You might ask, why in the world would you get a 2-1 group instead of a 1-2 group? Ah, simple. I really wanted a 1-2 group. They only had one female left. So I decided to go with a 1-1 group and they convinced me that they had two unrelated males. So if I went with the 2-1 group, I could hold offspring from my pairing, my 1-1 one, one pairing, and I would have a backup male unrelated, and I could use him to found a breeding group with the offspring from the 1-1 one, one group. Hope that made sense. It was kind of a big zigzag. But the other option is if the 1-1 one, one group is successful, I could potentially sell the extra male. Not sure yet. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. You want to see them a little closer? 
come on in. Okay, first up, let's put away one of these males. Now, if you're not familiar with these, these are a small species of New Caledonian gecko. We absolutely love these little geckos. They're kind of slow, but they can take off. They will jump. And if they get super scared, they can slime you with like butt juice. We're gonna do a whole video on these coming up one day soon. These are not full grown, these are juveniles. So because they are still small, all three are gonna be individually housed. One of the males will be in one of these, the other male will be in another one of these, and the female will go into the bioactive vivarium where ultimately a male will be added. She needs another four or five months before she's big enough to breed. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep them apart for a little bit. Maybe by the end of the summer, they could be roommates. Okay, next up, let's get this other male put away. Oh, he's pretty. Pretty boy. Had a little accident on the trip, he pooped. Come on, buddy. Look at that little guy. He's gorgeous. I love these geckos. They're just so small and cute. They don't mind being handled. They're generally out during the day, even though they're nocturnal. They use their camouflage to hide in plain sight. So you'll just see them up, up at the front of the tank, just wrapped around a branch. And they think that if they are still, you can't see them. So they do tend to be out and about and active, more so than other new cow species. They eat pretty much the same thing as a crested gecko. We feed the Pangea diet. And they do like live insects, so we throw quarter inch or smaller crickets in from time to time. I would say twice a week. And they love gobbling them up. Say bye to him. See ya, buddy. Okay. And finally, we have the female. Let's get a look at her. Oh, she pretty too. Look at that. Now, the females do tend to be a little bit bigger than the males. They do use that tail a lot. Very prehensile-like, watch. Now this is not her house, this little six quart tub. I'm just holding her over it in case she gets scared and jumps. We're gonna end up letting her go in her very own bioactive vivarium so she can get all settled in. Go in here, sweetie, until I can go to your home. let her go in her new house. There you go. Well, there you go. Three brand new Eurodactylodes here at Luna Geckos. We'll keep you posted on how they settle in and how they're doing. And stay tuned because pretty soon we'll do a full video on Eurodactylodes. We now keep three of the four subspecies. You just saw the Occidentalis. Occidentis. Occidentalis. Anyway, we'll call them the EOs. We also have a one two group of. Agricoli, and we have a one-two group of the Velardis. Missing one subspecies. Who knows? 
Might have to pick them up. Anyway, as always, thanks so much for tuning in. We appreciate you. And if you like this video, please be sure to like it, share it with your friends, comment down below, and above all, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notify bell so you won't miss it when we release content like this. And remember, every Sunday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, new episode right here, Luna Gecko's channel. Don't miss that either. Our merch, lunageckos.shop. I'm G, we're Luna Geckos, and guess what? No handy dandy camera lady today. I did this one all by myself. Let me know what you think. And until next time, I'm G, we're Luna Geckos. See ya. It sound right, boy.